hi everyone and welcome back to any shadow fight preview today we have a new legion event the wheel of history there are a couple of things i need to explain about this event the marathon system has changed a little bit the packs are different and a lot of things and i think neki just revealed two set bonuses in the event itself and those two set bonuses are for the legions night warrior and warmonger sets so we actually fight these two in the event and if you have fought them you already might have known so uh, let's start it but before we do if you like my videos make sure you hit that like button subscribe and turn on notifications as well so this is the wheel of history marathon the whole marathon has 4500 points and there are no second or third stages of course now these are the rewards you get the, fir the first reward you get for 50 points is actually 100 shadow energy the second one is 15 epic ticket epic. 15 epic keys one ticket the booster packs we are going to come back to them later these are not regular booster packs they don't have any equipment pieces in them anyhow 10 legendary keys a premium booster pack still no equipment pieces and surprisingly in this legendary booster pack this is just a normal legendary booster pack maybe a june's plane one but this one unlike the deep color events booster pack which gave you all the four pieces of the set itself this, this one doesn't really give the pieces for those sets and the final reward is the immortal skin for the warmonger set itself now the way you get points for this event uh, the way you get points for this event is simple 1.5 we fight token spent 1 to 8 points for winning a regular event 7 to 56 points for winning a grand one 50 points for completing a daily quest and 200 points for completing an event quest now these last two uh, now these last two ways to get points are totally insane if you do this correctly you can get like 2000 points easily for free almost now the first one was for completing a regular quest for completing a regular quest you get 50 points unfortunately i won't be able to because i'm saving these sets for ethos plane yes even the rare ones so i'm not going to so i'm not going to be opening any of these chests uh, so i can't do those but 200 points for completing a quest event quest that one's the real insane now you do get an event quest i have already completed it it was for 75 tokens so in the event you fight a lot of opponents with full sets you also fight someone with the living legend and the abdicator sets so i think this is gonna be the set bonus for the night warrior set so you fight this guy i think in the second fight of the event and the, the bonus for this set this the full night warrior set that he has and the bonus for this set is that you get damage bonuses yes you can see on the top of the screen that he's getting the vicious circle symbols and you, i don't know how many you can get i'll find out until the end of this event hopefully but so you will be dealing more and more damage over time i don't know what it depends on i think it depends over time or maybe it depends on his health i'm not totally sure about this but this is the bonus i think it's going to be i'm 90 percent sure this is what the bonus is going to be for the night warrior set so in the second and third round i defeated him really easily so i didn't really find out how many bonuses you can get i don't know maybe it's five ten i'm not sure about it the event itself is actually pretty easy until the last fight. Now, he has a weird bonus. I'm pretty sure it's just a fight rule bonus thing. It's not a set bonus because the equipment he has is just rare. So, he has this ability that is kind of similar to Zhang Zhu's ability. But it's not the same. You can actually hit him in this form when he activates the form though he's uh, still you can't hit him but i'm pretty sure this is not a set bonus because epic sets don't have a bonus in this game this is the final boss of the event rocking that immortal skin on the warmonger set 
he has the full set and he has a really interesting ability and that interesting ability is actually star wars lasers yeah we are gonna bring star wars in uh, shadow fight 3 right now what what the f anyways this ability he has uh, this yellow bar instead of his normal shadow energy bar and it recharges pretty fast so as you can see so once it is totally filled he can have a chance to do this so he has three different abilities one is like the straight laser thing that he shoots across the screen the only way you can dodge it is just duck so just hold the low uh, just hold the low control wheel that's it so the second ability is uh, what i like to call the flows on fire so this one i haven't really found a way how to dodge it he does this you're done it's pretty much unescapable you have to time it really nice so the third ability he has is similar to the force ray from shadow fight 2 he shoots two beams uh, that comes from the top of the screen and this is just zone this uh, ability has a small zone so uh, it's pretty easy to dodge the only way you can dodge is just uh, stay away from that zone so i think this is what the ability for the uh, warmonger set is going to be i'm not sure so that's all for this video guys 